Hello all. So in the last tutorial we have gone through a UV unwrapping in 3ds Max. So we are just going to continue it. So as you have seen over here we have done with the unwrapping of this uh, particular object over here. So today I am going to show you uh, over here. Let's go into this. Open UV editor. We have done something over here. So let's go into this uh, polygons over here. You can just select this all the polygons. You can just push that out. And if you select this polygons, so this is all your uh, internal polygons over here. So you can just go into this and you can relax it if you want easily you can just relax that polygons you can select this so you can just select this all and you can go into this and you can just relax this all over here so this can be uh, you know easily achieved over here so you can just take out this part individually so on the other hand if you see this this the top part this is all your top part over here so this is what was uh, left out from here so you can just cut it out if you want you have already selected this whole polygons if you just select this both tools and you can just relax this so definitely you can just take out this part and you can just put it over here between this so so these are different methods over here you can use that okay so you can detach that or you can also use a break option you can just break that uh, apart from there you can go into this tools and relax that stuff so if you see this over here So I can just go into the vertices and I can just place this over here and if you go into this edges if you select this see this so this part is a part over here so that can be done over here so there are many ways which you can do it this is one of the method which I am showing you right now over here so let's go over here and you have option over here cool tools uh, target weld you can just target weld this stuff so if you see this you can just target weld this stuff like this that's it so once you're done you can just place it in this way again and now again select this tools and you can just relax it that's it so that can be done over here so what I'm going to show you now over here is like if you have done this unwrapping over here for this particular object how you are going to paint that in any of the application like so this is a kind of a 2d flat surface over here we have converted this into a 2d flat surface let's go into the tools and you have option over here called render UVW template and what size texture you want to paint for example I want to render this UVs in the form of 1k texture 2k texture if I want to take in the form of 2k texture I can just take it as 
48 by 2048 that's your pixels 2k texture let's render UV template over here so you can just go into save and just make a new folder as UV UV and save it in the form of JPG so once you're done with this uh, now I'll show you how we can work on it it's like very simple so let's go into this and open it with Photoshop so these are some of the basic things which I'm showing you over here to unwrap it in the coming tutorials I'll be coming up with unwrapping a interior objects and also unwrapping a character and all this stuff so after you have open this over here so very first of all now what I'm going to do over here is like so let's go into the layers first in Photoshop so let's take a new blank layer and let's apply any of the color on top of it let's apply a color and let's give a bit of a darker color so we can just visible it it will be visible it should be visible and let's give a screen mode over here so once you're done over here let's zoom this over here so make sure you know that which object or we can say which faces you want to paint over there so let's take a new layer over here so as you know over here while working as you can see over here this part one two three and four so if you select this so you should know that in this UV unwrapping painting which texture should come where so you should know that over here also same so for example let's go over here and let's write something I'll just give you a small example let's take a white color over here I'll take a basic brush over here and I'll go into this and let's write as one so before I write I'll just increase its opacity and flow and let's write this one two three and four so I just wrote one two three and four on the particular area where I want that stuff now down I want something like if you want some texture over here to be assigned up or you want to use some kind of a brush paint over here or something that can be done over here so let's go into this over here and let's take a color from it and let's paint something let's paint something let's paint for example now on the other hand if you see this this is a other side part so on the other hand if you want something uh, like let's go with different different layers that would be much better I want some kind of selection over here so it's like I want something like this a patches over here I want the stripes over here in this way I want the stripes I want the stripes I want the stripes so while working on the stripes <coughs> I'll just press control T and I'll just scale the stripes that's it all right on the other hand if you see this so you should always know that which part is this so let's see this this is whole your top part so let's put some kind of uh, circular elements over here let's put some circular elements so you it would be easy for you to understand those circular elements so let's go into this elliptical marquee tool let's go over here and let's give some I'll give white color only 
that would be easy to understand so I'm just making you understand this stuff over here how we can uh, assign the textures after you have unwrapped it so so make sure you are doing that whether it is a a normal shape or whether it could be any kind of a shape so from this to this press shift and select it and just make a copy of it so once you are done with this so as you can see I have almost done this I don't want to put any texture over here and here so if you are done in this now let's go down over here so there's a lot of uh, layers you can just select this layer select this layer press ctrl G that's for group and the main layer that is this layer so make sure you off this layer you don't activate this layer you have to deactivate this layer so let's go into file and let's save as this file in the same UV folder with uh, with naming it as a paint so this is a basic stuff you can also paint with the brush also you can also assign the images also so let's do it over here we can save this file in the form of photoshop also not a problem so let's go back in the max application and let's go into the material i'm just going to assign a basic material over here let's go into diffuse you can assign any of the material let's go into the diffuse bitmap let's go into the UV and let's select this paint over here collapse layers okay no problem and just assign it that's it so now if you see this over here wherever you have assigned the texture or you have painted this over here it's properly assigned over there can you see this so now if you go into this and if you go into open UV editor and if you go into this pick texture bitmap and if you select this and if you click ok you can see over here the same texture has been assigned that's how we work over here you unwrap it you take it in any of the application either you can take it in photoshop either you can take it in substance painter and you can easily assign it so this is one stuff over here you can also paint the bump maps you can also paint the displacement maps you also paint the opacity maps normal maps that can also be painted in the application that is in photoshop and you can bring back over here and you can assign the stuff so in this way we can uh, do this stuff over here so we'll come up with more tutorials on uv and wrapping so thanks for watching this tutorial